morning guys and welcome to another episode of Big Bang Fishing we're fishing at uh, Matelume this morning it's the 11th of January and uh, we've booked over for a couple of days so the river is open <clears throat> I've never fished this area before normally just driven past it from what I hear it's a good area and from what I hear They've been getting some big shad, bronzies and, and some other rock species. So, I'm going to, hopefully you guys can see nicely. They, the river mouth is up there and it's feeding into sort of this pool here. You can see it's a lot deeper and uh, it looks better than all of the other white white water. So we're gonna fish off this main rock. I've seen pictures of the guys fishing um, off this rock. So hopefully we'll be able to we'll be able to get a fish or two off there. Once you catch a ghost crab, it's always a good bait. <clears throat> so yeah, uh, I hope to bring you more footage over the next three or four days, and uh, hopefully some good fish as well. Okay, guys, we're gonna get rigged up. I'll get you guys back on when we're tying up some traces and putting some baits. Catch you guys soon. Thanks, guys. Okay, guys. What we're going to do here is going to cut the tail off. Um, I'm looking for the belly right now. So just cut that head off. Try to keep some of the gills in place. And then cut the belly off. that so you have this portion here slit that open I'm just gonna tap the gut a little bit because it's, it's a bit frozen okay I'm gonna put that onto my hook and over I might build a bigger bait that up just gonna cut the fillets off Alex is ready. Good luck. Yeah. Just don't go too close of the rough front of the rocks, eh? Okay, so we're getting there. Old snap, nice hard. Okay. Throw all our that away.
Okay, so what are we doing with the trucker? We'll just split it down. Actually, I like to split it down the back. Uh, let's pull out the wings first. This is actually Potter Squid. The local tackle store only had this last night when we arrived. So we'll give it a try and see how it goes. Okay, I'm just going to cut it down here. Take out that. I'm not going to throw the guts away because I'm going to make a separate bait with that now. <clears throat> is a bit tough to come out. So I'm just gonna work it a bit. There we go. Skin is off. that big yeah just gonna split it down the middle here at the bottom beat the top up I'm gonna beat it up quite a bit. See this squid is harder than chaka. Just beat that up. We're just gonna lay that over here. Pull it down, pull that part up. This is obviously to add a little bit more flavor into the water as well as protect your bait from the peckers if there is any. It's been one of my go-to baits for many years. And you don't want to put too too much of cotton on it. I'm just gonna tie that off like so. And that's it. Chaka and oh, sardine first the roll. The water is off the main rock. It doesn't look as good as it does on this side. So I'm going to take a chance. I think it's low tide. I'm going to really check the tide. Yeah, I'm kind of hoping to put a decent shot into the back bank there. Yeah, that went nicely. Ocean's pretty flat. Actually, looks very really good. Slightly discolored. Good water for salmon.
no drift at all, which is great. Now we just need a few fish to play their part. Water is a beautiful ginger. It's not too muddy at all. First fish of the morning. Took that very nicely. There's a bang bang, flat pull. Doesn't seem too big. not really fighting a lot. Ah, there we go. There's some fight to it. There we go. And exactly what we were looking for. A salmon. That's exactly what we came to check for. Salmon. Yeah. Put it through trofa. We're ready for Second throw. The same bait. Hopefully we get a bigger one this time. There's no weed in the water. So it's looking good. Do the same, try to throw the same area as well. Slightly to the right of where I threw earlier. But I guess that's alright. Guys, the guys, yeah, we're packing it up. It's about eight o'clock now, so we had about two and a half hours of fishing. It wasn't the greatest. Caught one nice salmon. I guess any fishing is good fishing. And Alex caught that one black tail you would have seen in the picture. Um, and that was it. High tide is about half past ten. Um, we are going to fish Hebedin a little bit later, so I'll get some footage for you guys from there. And hopefully we'll have some more fish to, to show you. I'm going to take my 14 foot. So I'm going to throw out a bigger bait and, and put it into the stand. And then scratch around for bronze brim. I believe it's a good area for some bronze brim and for shad. So we'll catch you guys a bit later. Hi guys. I'm fishing at uh, Japanese. It's about lunchtime now. So I'm going to prepare a bonito bait. Um, so yeah, first just cut this one off. 
very windy. I'm not sure if you can hear us properly. So yeah, what I'll do is now I'm going to cut it this way as well. Sort of trim it. Because what the idea is, because I'm using a dingle, I'm just showing this now, when it's flying through the air, it has to have some kind of aerodynamic um, Open the top. 
Platz zu bringen. Ich hoffe, ihr schaut fucking geil. Wissen wir noch Watch of the Wild.
morning guys day two at Watulume <coughs> not much happened yesterday we fished Aberdeen for three or four hours we couldn't get a decent bite uh, I'm sure you'd have seen from the footage that I've sent already Port Chepston is a mud washing machine so this morning Matiluma is looking very good water is looking tops there's a nice deep hole there we had caught that salmon yesterday so we're going to give it another shot here the river is closing up which is not a bad thing because we can't find decent water to fish at for the last few days so we're going to just uh Go down here, get rigged up. Um, I'm gonna put out a bigger bait on the left hand side. <clears throat> and then we're gonna fish towards the middle of this hole uh, for the next few hours. Oh, I'm hoping to get another salmon at least, a bigger one. And if there's any flat fish in the area, I'm putting out another bonito bait, um, which I will show you guys. So yeah, wish us luck and uh, we'll catch up with you soon. Okay, we're done. Same bait. Chocolate sardine. Unfortunately, we're probably fishing one of the worst tides ever because there is only one high tide today, which is just after 12. And the next high tide falls uh, tomorrow after 12 a.m. so not great um, but yeah we're gonna give it a shot I think the ocean looks good though uh, it cleaned up a lot uh, compared to yesterday I mean yesterday it was quite brown so yeah I'm gonna throw I know yesterday I caught the, the cob out this side, but the hole seems to be out that way. So I'm gonna throw, actually I'm gonna throw straight and let it wash. Because I can see the waves are coming in at a slight angle. So I'm gonna throw straight and let it try to wash it into that hole. has been scarce. Yesterday Alex got one black tail, which I'll be eager to slide out this morning if we manage to get another. This is what I thought. There's, there's a slight drift to the left hand side. How's it, guys? Very quiet morning. The water is just too cold it's very very cold so yeah we left the spot that we were at and we came to the right hand side of the swimming pool um, not much happening so I'm just gonna scratch a bit with uh, a scratching trace it's very rocky here so just a one one ounce flat sinker with a small bit of prawn and just gonna work it here in in the little bit deeper gullies and hopefully we get a pick up. We've, we have caught, I think, three small black tail. Uh, nothing to, man, to, to mention though. So yeah, I hope, I hope that the video looks better than the fishing is. It's been a tough, 
two days but yeah it's better to be fishing than anything else i'll keep you guys in the loop so yeah we had matuane mate lume we had mate lume um there is some nice deeper gullies around but there's not much fish to be found in them at the moment so i'm just hoping just uh letting this prawn just sort of roll around there might yield something hopefully So it felt small. There it goes again. Look at the black tail of the quarantine. Definitely not a big fish. See, I'm using a size, I think it's size one hook. Let's just throw this back out there. All right, guys, managed to get. Oh, it's a stinky. Yeah, that kind of sums up the trip. But it's okay. It's a fish. That's all we get to do is catch a couple of fish. Alex! Stone Brum. That's it for today, boys. Calling it a morning. Nobody caught a fish. Spoke to about four or five people. They all said nothing. Uh, scratching around here, a couple of small black tails, that one small stony. But yeah. Mm -hmm. Nothing really happening. Um, for this time of the year, the water is ice cold. It literally feels like, I don't know, 20 degrees, 18 degrees. It's really cold. So I put it to that. That's why the fish is not biting on. Uh, if you guys have any advice, drop me a comment. Um, thanks for subscribing. I really appreciate it. And if you haven't, please do give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Um, this year we're going to try to do a lot more videos in terms of how we fish. Uh, it might not be everybody's taste, but it would be the way we like to do things, the way we tie, tie traces, the way we uh, do bait presentations. So um, we just like you guys, we just love fishing and uh, we just want to share um, all the knowledge that we've gained over, over the years. So yeah. Um, give us a, a thumbs up and uh, please drop us a comment we do like to engage with you guys hopefully we get a chance to wet a line later uh, when we take a drive around um, otherwise we're gonna catch you guys tomorrow morning for about probably an hour session and then we're gonna pack it up because we're going back home tomorrow but thanks for watching the video I hope that you uh, enjoyed the bait presentations and I hope that uh, you just enjoyed watching the videos. Thanks.